This is five reasons why I prefer the old school Citadel paint to the new school paint. So before we start, these um, original Games Workshop paints from the 80s and 90s, they can be quite tough to find and unfortunately they do fetch some quite ridiculously high prices on eBay. Now this is not a sponsored video, but I'm gonna tell you what I like to use if I can't get my hands on the original. And that is, I use Cote de Arms paints. Um, Cote de Arms are essentially the same paints as they were in the 90s, but there are some differences. So they are a close second. The original are the best. If you can't get them, get these. Now on with the video in no particular order. Number five, and perhaps the most important, they are cheaper. Perhaps not if you're buying them from eBay, as we discussed, they can be a little bit hard to find, but if you're using the next best thing, coat to arms, these are certainly a cheaper option than getting your Games Workshop paints. You're gonna get more for your money, and as an added bonus, they don't come in these awful pots. Number four, you don't need to use a wet palette. I find that these paints do not work well with a wet palette. You're better off using a more old fashioned hard palette like I do. So it could be something like a plate, or if you're like me, I'll just use an old Harry Bow lid. Number three, they last forever, or at least most of them do anyway. So this is a painting donation from my man, Dr. C. Um, he sent me some 90s paints and some modern paints. Uh, so let's just pick one of these modern GW paints. What should we go for? Let's go for a white one. Um, so this is Screaming Skull. So I haven't opened this yet. Don't know what it's like. That's um, worse than I expected, actually. Um, so this is a modern paint after a year or two, right? Deary me. Um, so let's just pick, you know, let's pick a whiter one, right? Let's try and be objective, right? So let's go Space Wolf's Grey, nice classic colour there. So we're going to go with this Space Wolf's Grey and see how it's going. <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever, and this paint is... 10, 20 years old. Uh, let's pick one that's even older. I think there's some older ones in here as well. Look. Uh, Bestial Brown Classic. Let's give that a shake. That looks like it's okay as well. That's fine as well. Yeah, look, you can see that's fine. Look. So those paints, 20, 30 years old. That GW paint, these GW paints one two years number two nostalgia and old school style paint jobs now i'm 37 years old i grew up in the 90s now just the smell of these paints takes me back to a simpler time when the internet wasn't infested with neck beards and when you had to don your gas mask before going into the Games Workshop shop itself. And um, there were actually people in the shop, would you believe? People socializing, playing the game. Now, I prefer the look of the old school paints. I prefer the fact that they're less saturated. I find them easier to blend. And it has that quintessential 90s look that I aspire to. I don't look at modern Games Workshop heavy metal and think, man, I really want my miniature to look like. That's cool if that's the look you're going for. It is not the look that I'm going for, and I just cannot get it with modern paints. Number one, you all knew it was coming. This paint right here. Goblin Green in the 90s was on every single model whether it be Warhammer Fantasy, Warhammer 40k, or even Necromunda. This is how we based. Goblin Green, bit of flock, you are done. And if you're an Orc player like me, it was even more important. You cannot get the 90s Orc look without this paint. You can get close to it, but nothing will compare to the original. And that is five reasons why I love old school paints. Now, just as a little bit of a bonus, um, I think these old school paints hold up. This Gilliman here I painted 
was pretty much all with 90s paints and all with coped at arms. And you tell me, does he look all right? Do these paints still hold up? I think they do. Thanks to all the Patreons. And if you like this video, if you're an old Hammer fan, why not give it a like and a subscribe?